can't see any damage to any of the caps or anything, so. Um, that's odd. It doesn't look like, I don't know if you can see that. If you look at this chip right there, there is a, a lead missing off it. Now, uh, it doesn't look like there was anything ever there, and I really don't see how sitting in a computer it could have been damaged. But uh, I guess you never know. Um, at this point, I have not been able to find anything visibly wrong with the board. Uh, none of the caps. Everything looks fairly good. Um, yeah, I guess that's the way they're supposed to be, because you can see right here, there's two more chips, uh, and they are... Uh, they might be different chips, but um, they all kind of have that middle one cut off, so I'm assuming that's just the way it is. Like I said, I mean, sitting in a computer, how the hell is that going to happen? So anyways, uh, we're going to bake this. Um, it did provide a... It didn't provide an actual picture. Um, it basically just showed a, a black screen with some um, with some weird greenish kind of grainy graphics to it somewhere. <clears throat> uh, so it definitely does not work. Um, this is a seventy-seven something. I can't remember which exact 70, 70, 78, 50 or something like that. So. Um, uh, is 7870. So, uh, 2 gig Radeon. We're going to see what happens after we bake it and uh, see if anything. Now, supposedly you want to remove these plastics, but uh, I don't know if I really want to take that chance. Um, those are for the fans, the power lead, power header for the fans. So, uh, I'll see what happens, but um, I mean if this thing is dead I, I could give two shits uh, especially being a Radeon card, but just want to see we're gonna see if this this baking theory actually does work um, I have another uh, GPU too. I'm gonna test out after this one. It's the 560 GTX 560 from Asus. Uh, it's actually my card old old card, but uh, It's letting the wife use it for a while and uh, she got a good two years out of it and I mean I bought it when they launched so when the you know AIB partner cards launched so it's got some time on it definitely got the shit kicked out of it for a long time so um, I will uh, return soon
go. Uh, the fans are spinning. Yay. Yeah, but guess what? There's a picture and it fucking works. Let's see if a game works. Actually, let's give it a little stress test. So here we go, um, it's working, uh, I am not going to do any kind of benchmarks or anything, I just bought my wife a 1050 Ti so that, that I don't want to fucking take drivers in and out, but um, I mean it, it didn't even post a picture before, so I mean we, we have liftoff. Uh, <laughs> Serving your graphics cards up as lunch fucking works bake them they take a shit bake them dry it Worst thing that can happen is you're still left with the same piece of shit that you had You know 20 minutes ago. Um, I will say that I baked it at 20 minutes at 340 degrees <clears throat> I utilized a uh, little drilled a couple holes in a cookie sheet and I put in some Standoffs like you would for a motherboard uh, works absolutely perfect. You cannot set the card on anything it has to be mounted to something so that it does not fall or anything you, you do not want a chip to get hit while they're soft like that from being in the heat um, they could actually you know fuck any any chances of you fixing the card possibly cause even more problems so um, <clears throat> do it the right way don't do shit half-assed like putting it on little foil balls like an asshole um, I've seen that done before and uh, just remember, UFO Technologies, hit that like button if you like it, and I will see you again soon.